you guys saw when I left off on the output transformer, I was actually de-rusting the uh, lamination pieces that had a lot of rust. Anyway, eddy currents can be a problem, and you can see I went back uh, kind of old school. I didn't use varnish, but I used a, a satin Krylon and recoated all the uh, lamination pieces to create a thin layer of insulation. So hopefully that will uh, somewhat mirror what the original OEM design was. And uh, you can see we have an insulation barrier now on the uh, E's and the I's. And you can also see I took time to clean up the uh, terminal strip there that uh, mounts around the uh, core. And just getting all the lamination pieces back together here in alignment to be reinserted. Yeah, I've got the output transformer back together. Everything uh, painted. The, and uh, you can see our turns ratio between uh, 41 and 42 to 1. So I think we're going to be good there and be a great match for the uh, Type 59 tube. Now let's uh, turn our attention over to the uh, fill coil. And uh, let me just show you guys uh, what I found and what steps I'm going to take to uh, mitigate that issue. As you can see in the photos, the flange on the top side of the bobbin came loose and uh, all the windings tried to jump out at me. And I was concerned just with the age of the uh, fill coil that I uh, got this thing back together, I'd end up having a issue. So uh, I just took time to go ahead and wind a new fill coil and increase the uh, DC resistance as well. If you look at this picture, you'll notice it shows 850 and stamped uh, 3413. So just doing the math, it's uh, 850 ohms, and that's very, very close to what I read. And uh, that would come back to uh, 3,413 feet of magnet wire. So it looks like a uh, SWG wire gauge was used back in the day. So somewhere between 33 and 34 AWG wire today will uh, meet our needs. And I'm going back with uh, 34 AWG and we'll increase the uh, windings uh, to try to fill up the entire uh, bobbin and uh, hopefully we'll end up somewhere north of 800 and closer to 1,000 ohms. So the idea was to wind and leave just enough room here for a few wraps of gaffer tape and fish paper. And I uh, was shooting for 800 to uh, 1,000 ohms. Again, using a 34 AWG wire. And uh, that's uh, really a sweet spot right there. At uh, 1K, 1,000 ohms. And that's actually a better match for the uh, receiver because I want to reduce the uh, current and the uh, DC voltage uh, just a bit. And the other fill coil here, uh, depending on uh, the temperature, anywhere from uh, 800 ohms to uh, 700 and some ohms. All right, when I come back, we'll dress the uh, leads up and uh, recheck the DC resistance and uh, just clean up everything here. Get it ready to be reinstalled in the loudspeaker. Okay, I'm gonna cut a piece of uh, fish paper right at the width here of the uh, coil itself. So we can attach the uh, most inner lead here in addition to the most outer lead. And I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do here on the uh, paper before we tape it in place. You can see I got the piece of uh, fish paper here cut lengthwise and of course widthwise that it fits inside the uh, bobbin or former. We'll bend the uh, innermost winding strap down and of course we'll solder back to that for our lead dressing and then for the outermost winding I'm going to use a hole punch here and uh, put a grommet in place and we've got the uh, grommet here I'll uh, place it here as such and a couple taps 
Okay, our little uh, eyelet that we need here for the uh, lead wire to attach to in addition to the uh, conductor that I'll attach as well. A little sanding here on uh, both sides just to make sure we get a good uh, solder to connection. Okay, I'll cut this off about right here. And just go ahead and sand off the enamel coating. Just a couple more passes. And another piece of tape here, just a, a few millimeters down from my original piece. And a, a few more pieces of tape. And the start winding, soldered back to a nickel strip, measures uh, 0.1 millimeters thick, 4 millimeters wide, and 100 millimeters long. And you can see I'm using the 3M tape made for uh, transformers. Let's uh, get this thing soldered up here now and get the uh, gaffer tape placed on and do some DC resistance checks. Put a little hook in the uh, wire itself before placing it through the eyelet. And then I'm winding the uh, 34 AWG around the uh, solid wire here before soldering it in place. Let me get another piece of tape on this and then we'll put some gaffer tape around the uh, outside edge. And putting the finishing touch here on the uh, tape. All right, let's double check the uh, DC resistance here just to make 100% uh, certain we're still good. So I think that'll work, guys. Let's do a, uh, another dry fit just to make sure everything's uh, still a, a fit. No issues there. And you can see I got the piece marked uh, bottom here. And a nice uh, fit. We're getting close now to be able to uh, get this thing back together. We'll uh, continue this in the uh, next installment. Thanks for watching.